Looking at the bounce house right now, uh, the, the fans have retreated. Everybody's taking shelter because of the lightning strikes. It's currently raining, but the good news is yesterday, I got a chance to tour this place when it was beautiful out. And the bounce house, man, what a, what a venue. UCF has a phenomenal setup when it comes to sports. About a decade ago, they completed their athletic village. Soccer, track, baseball, softball, and basketball all surround the crown jewel of them all. Welcome to the Bounce House, a 45,000 seat stadium that houses Orlando's hometown football team, the UCF Knights. This place has one of the more fitting nicknames in all of college football. When Zombie Nation begins to play, the fans jump in unison and this place begins to bounce. So much of that energy is provided by the UCF students and they fill the upper stands on both sides of the end zone. I'm told that 18,000 students requested tickets to come to this game. Here's the catch, only 12,000 will actually get access. How does that compare to back home? Boise State reserves 5,000 tickets for their student population. As far as the amenities go here at the Bounce House, the Black and Gold Cabana was a part of an $8 million renovation project back in 2014. If you're sitting in one of those gold seats, you have access to food and drinks. It is a life of luxury while you watch the nights. That idea went so well that they actually brought the cabanas down to the field level. I tell you, they know how to do football season here in Florida. And check out how close fans actually get to the action. When UCF scores, you get a bunch of cheers. When Boise State scores, they're gonna get a face full of booze and not the kind you drink. One of the cooler things about the field is the significance of the 50 yard line. Believe it or not, UCF used to be a feeder school for NASA and they love to embrace that. So when this venue was built in 2007, they lined the 50 yard line up with a launching pad located just miles away. What does that mean? If you climb up to the top of the press box, look down the 50 yard line out to the east, you will have a beautiful view of each and every shuttle launch. Well, welcome back inside the bounce house. You're getting a live look at the field right now. It is 84 degrees with 80% humidity and it is pouring at the bounce house. But you know, this was gonna be a storyline coming into this game for the Broncos. All fall camp, they went inside the Cavan Williams Sports Complex, watered down the field and really cranked up the heat in order to simulate this humidity. There was even a situation where bad air quality back in Boise on a 98 degree forced the guys inside. With the furnace cranked up in there, it was over 100 degrees. This is exactly what the Broncos did prior to their 2019 season opener in the Sunshine State. And it's safe to say it, it worked. So guess what? They did it again. And now the climate hopefully won't throw too many curveballs at the Broncos after kickoff. We saw that you guys went down and handled the heat community pretty well at Florida yep. State. Will you guys be able to handle it again at in, in Orlando? Yeah, we uh, just talked about that after this practice, actually, with the you know hydration plan and the drinks that they have for us after practice. So we've done some of those hot practices where we get in the indoor and crank it up. So we're doing as much as we can to prepare ourselves and our bodies to face that humidity. And you know we're excited for the challenge. It's not only preparing for you know, an opponent personnel's X's and O's and those things, but you got to prepare for a climate in a situation like this when it is different from the one that we are in. We've had our opportunities to practice and create certain climates that are different from here. Um, we got to rely and trust in our, in our training and our prep. And, and obviously we got to do an unbelievable job with our hydration plan as we move forward.